Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights of Arkham. Welcome to the next episode of the Edge of the Earth uh, campaign playthrough with Monterey Jack. And we are up to Ice and Death Part 3. So uh, this is after the interlude or the checkpoint attack uh, where we uh, got to uh, choose if we want to try and defend the camp or uh, get the hell out of there. Uh, I think <laughs> it mostly depends on uh, what cards we get and how fast of a start we get for this scenario if we want to try even to go and defeat the uh, seeping nightmare that has spawned at the barrier camp. So uh, during the setup uh, we uh, determined that our camp is the remnants of the lake camp so the first uh, seeping nightmare spawns at the barrier camp and there are eight enemy cards underneath the seeping nightmare and every time the agenda advances uh, instead of advancing we spawn one of those at the seeping nightmares location um, to win this scenario or, or pass this scenario you either have to have no um, idol on enemies in play or you have to get four clues and resign at the camp so uh, I probably will <laughs> end up uh, getting the clues and resigning because uh, Monterey is not that big of a fighter. Uh, we picked James Cookie Fredericks as our partner, so we uh, have some choices and can try to defeat the uh, Seeping Nightmare, but we'll see how this progresses. Uh, we also have to add one uh, Frost Token into the Chaos Bag at the start of the scenario. So we won't forget that. Um, I think, yeah, that is mostly it for the scenario. We only got one experience from the part two of Ice and Death, so I didn't do any upgrades to uh, Monterey Jack's deck, so uh, no point in looking at the deck list because it's the same as before. So I think that is all I want to say before we start, so let's get started. <laughs> Let's draw our opening hand, so we get to see how we will progress in this scenario. Okay, uh, so we get build work, uh, breaking and entering, sled dog, breaking and entering, Leo de Luca. Mm. Oh yeah, and one thing to note, again we get the resources, that is the shelter number of our campsites. So I'm definitely keeping Leo as we can uh, get extra actions and that can help us do stuff. I'm thinking of also keeping the barrier uh, breaking and entering times too. We can just investigate uh, at the barrier camp and keep that enemy uh, exhausted. So uh, we might go and try and at least defeat that and see how that how the game progresses from there. So. Uh, I think I'm scoring these two, or, or mulliganing and going two. So we get the Rod of Animalism and uh, Magnifying Glass, so I think that is good enough start. We can try try to go and defeat that enemy and see how the uh, game progresses. If it starts going south, uh, we can just uh, pick some clues and uh, go and resign, but um, I already played this once and just resigns as fast as possible, so that doesn't give you a lot of experience, so we at least want to try and get some experience and not just resign as fast as possible, so we need to at least try to defeat the seeping nightmare and after that maybe some other, other uh, enemies that spawn, but we'll see. Uh, one thing to note that um, uh, while um, another idol enemy moves at the Seeping Nightmares location, the campsite is connected to the site of the Seeping Nightmare, so uh, that might come into play in, at some uh, situations, but it's worth noting. So, first action, we will of course play Leo de Luca, get extra actions, this is really useful. 
So I will also put the magnifying glass in play. Uh, one thing to note, uh, the campsite doesn't start with any rules, so we have to start moving from the campsite. Uh, so we still have three actions left, so I think we are... Oh yeah, we have to pay for Leo, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So that was the first action. Uh, we'll do a move, a move, one, two. So we'll move into this location. This is massive, so it engages us. And last action, uh, we probably will tank some damage at the start and start shooting and trying to defeat that enemy. So uh, I will spend one ammo from Cookies. Custom 32 and see what happens. So we are fighting at five, with 5 versus 3, and that uh, enemy has 6 health, so we need to hit it uh, a few times to defeat it. We'll see how that goes. So, uh, first try. So it is a minus 2, so we hit and we deal 2 damage. And that is our turn. Enemy actions that enemy hits us for 2 damage. 2 horror. And that is it. So uh, we uh, at the end of our round we get one card. Which is the lock picks and one resource for moving that much. Then uh, at upkeep we get 2 cards. Uh, we gave the sled dogs. Discard the rod of animalism and gain one resource. So, uh, that was the first turn. Let's see what happens in the next turn. We add a Doom. The first encounter card is... Uh, Dark Aurora. Test. Willpower 3 for each. Frost token revealed during this test. Take 1 horror. Fail. Take 2 horror. Uh, we really don't have um, a lot of ways to... ...pass this, so I'm just testing and hoping we don't see the Frost but token, so we... The minus two, we take two, or so Leo takes one, I'll take one. That is it. And uh, first action, we will uh, breaking and entering. And uh, we breaking and entering. Uh, 9 versus 4 a 0 so we get to exhaust the enemy at our location or uh, evade and then get one clue which is really good then we can use the cookies custom 32 to fight so 5 versus 3 I'm actually commuting this so 6 versus 3 Yes, so uh, we hit and uh, two more damage. So I'm just marking. so we still need two damage. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So uh, next up, we will use Cookie. So we exhaust Cookie and fight with a base skill of five and. Uh, so it's uh, 5 versus 3 again. It's a minus 1. So one more damage. Uh, we, we still need one damage. So, uh, yeah, we still have one attack left, but... Uh, we can't use cookie again this turn. I think we have to uh, just get a clue from here. So we are investigating 5 versus 4. I'll go... I'm, yeah, I'm coming 5 versus 4. It's an elder sign, so... 
Uh, we don't get the bonuses, but we'll get the clue. That is okay. Uh, no enemy actions. We go to upkeep. We draw. Oh, uh, we didn't move, so we don't get any extra resources or anything like that. So we draw two. Uh, we pick the hiking boots. And we gain one resource. So this enemy readies at in the upkeep. And uh, I think that is everything. So next turn we will unfortunately spawn an enemy, but we'll have to deal with that uh, then. We'll see how that goes, but that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we advance, but we don't advance. So we get one enemy underneath here. So these are shuffled, so I'll just pick the bottom enemy. And it is the Manifestation of Madness. So it's 3 fight, 3 health, and 3 evade monster, idol, and hunter. Forced when Manifestation of Madness attacks you, shuffle the top 2 cards of the Tekelili deck into your deck without looking at them. For each card you cannot shuffle, Manifestation of Madness deals 1 damage and 1 horror for this attack. So I think we're just um, try to defeat the other one and see what we can do with this one engaged with us so uh, I think first thing is to play uh, breaking and entering so first action we are evading uh, nine versus oh, we are investigating so the magnifying glass activates so ten versus four minus one so we pass clearly Grab this clue and we will evade this enemy. And then we will get the cookie should be ready. So we use cookie to attack this one. So we only need this one damage to hit. So five versus three. Minus one. So, uh, this enemy is defeated, that means that uh, this enemy and every card underneath it is removed. This goes into the victory display. Oh, oh yeah, every enemy has the text uh, victory zero. So, if we defeat an enemy, it goes into the victory display, so it can't come back. And uh, these go away. And uh, just checking. Okay, so now if we advance, we unfortunately go to the next because there are no seeping nightmares in play. And yeah, we'll go from there. So, last action, we, oh uh, no, uh, we have a couple of actions left, so, uh, don't, get, don't have good ways to hit this enemy, so I think we will start getting some clues, just in case, and uh, trying to get some ways to deal damage to that enemy, so, uh, we don't have any uh, resources at the moment, so first action, uh, the, or the second action is to uh, move. And I think I'll go over here. Oh, Icy Waste. Let's keep close to the Remna base camp. And I will investigate. Uh, the Shroud was two here, so uh, five versus. Minus one, we'll get one clue. And uh, we don't need any more clues, so... I think we'll just draw a card. Uh, I'm out of here, so that's good. We can just um, resign wherever. Uh, because the remnants of Lake Camp now has the resign ability. So that is good. And that is our... Uh, whole turn, so no enemy actions to go to upkeep, uh, or we, we've moved, we take one card, obfuscation, 
then uh, we're ready. Uh, we draw two cards and we pick the sled dog. And that is. Oh, yeah, we get one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom encounter card for. Actually, I think we missed an encounter card last turn, so. Uh, before we do anything else, I'm just double checking. Yeah, so I uh, will uh, do the last turn's encounter card. So it was Ancient Evils. So uh, we actually have one. Well, that's good because it that didn't change the board state that much. So uh, we got Ancient Evils last turn. So we advance the act agenda at the start of this turn. Okay, uh, the lead investigator must choose, uh, add one cross token to the chaos bag. If play order, each investigator shuffles the top two cards of the Takelili deck into their deck. Each investigator cannot take one damage and one cross is dead. I'll take the Takelili cards, these two get shuffled here. That might be a mistake, but have plenty of soak at the moment. Okay. Now uh, we get to see what this does. So we have a threshold of six icy deaths. So uh, we get an encounter card. It is wide out. So that's the location, and every stat is used and cards at the end of the round, so that is okay. Uh, first thing first, we can go and, uh, at least this should be readied again, we can go and hit that manifestation of madness at least once, and that enemy cannot attack for the rest of the turn. We can try and hit it, but... Mm, uh, we have two uh, fight icon, so that could be uh, one good swing. I'll take that. So four versus three, so we're one up. Have a good chance. So uh, first action, I'll draw a card. Field work. Uh, I'll get a resource. And I'll play field work. Just stalling a bit, because now <clears throat> we can lure the enemy here. Move back here and use field work to hit. And uh, last action, yeah, we'll move uh, away. Let's let's move here. And that is our turn. So we moved once. I'll take a resource. It checks ability. The enemy comes here. We'll draw two cards, pick one, and I am picking Bostian Bargain, because we already have the I'm out of here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Not too many yet. And we get one resource. Well, yeah, we got the resource already. And I think that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, this should have been removed. No. So we add one doom to the agenda. One of four, uh, one of six. And count card for this turn is uh, an Antarctic wind attached to the nearest location without a copy of an Antarctic wind attached. Uh, investigators at the attached location cannot play cards or draw cards from their deck. At the end of the round, discard Antarctic wins. Okay, we put it over here. So, first action will move here. Uh, we'll trigger field work. And we'll attack. So, I'm um, attacking four versus three. So, I'm spending this. To 5 versus 3. It is a plus 1. We deal 1 damage to this enemy. So 
that was the second action. Then we will use a cookie. Fight 5 versus 3. I could spend this, but I think I have to save it for next turn. So 5 versus 3. Minus 1, uh, one more damage, and this enemy cannot attack this turn. So, uh, I will evade. And I'll spend... Mm, I'll spend the... Hiking boots, so 6 versus 3. 0. This enemy is evaded. So uh, we moved. I'll take one resource. Then, uh, no enemy actions. This gets discarded. Uh, this readies. We'll ready our actions. Then uh, get two cards. We'll pick the quick thinking. Again, one restore. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Oh, yeah, and build work ready, which is really important. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a doom. Encounter card is uh, Polar Mirage. Uh, that's the nearest location without it. Uh, we, uh, with at least one clue and without a copy of Polar Mirage. After you discover it, take control of one or more clues at, the, at that location. Discard each non weakness card in your hand. Discard Polar Mirage. So we are not getting any clues. First thing I will do is evade. And uh, I won't spend any cards. So 5 versus 3. It is a frost token. Uh, It is a minus three. So that that is an annoying one, and a minus one, so we fail. Uh, this guy doesn't have alert, so we'll uh, evade again. Okay, I'm committing to this, so um, I'm out of here. I'm using that to boost this, so. Well, it's a zero now, so this enemy is evaded. I will move away over here. Last action. We'll actually, just in case, play obfuscation. Oh yeah, it's a free fast action. Never mind, we still have one action. I think we'll just get a resource. Oh, yeah, we'll get a resource because we have the weakness there. Okay, uh, that is our turn. We move, so we'll just take a resource. Uh, we go to upkeep, we're ready. Uh, we draw two cards. Uh, we'll pick the doggy. Again, one resource. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 3 of 6 doom. And count the card for this turn is. Oh, yeah. And this doesn't discard, so I'm just checking. That so, uh, I shaft test uh, agility free for each cross token reveal during this test. Take one damage, if you fail, take one damage. You can take the two damage. Okay, elder sign. Uh, we pass, so nothing happens. We'll uh, move in. This enemy engages us. Uh, we will fight using the field work. And committing these two cards. So I'm fighting a four, six versus three. Minus 
minus two, we defeat this enemy because of the victory display. And that is the end of the scenario because um, if there are no idle on enemies in play advance, so we get, uh, if there are no idle on enemies in play, we get resolution one. And that is really good. So resolution one. In your campaign log record, the team defeated the hunting creatures. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each car in the victory display. Each investigator earns 5 bonus experience as they have gained insights into the entities that dwell in Antarctica. In the expedition team section of the campaign log record the amount of damage and horror on each partner asset in play. Clean up the game, you will not return to this scenario for the remainder of the campaign. Proceed to interlude Restful Night. So let's uh, see. So the interlude Restful Night is a really long one. So I will read it off camera, tell you what happened, and go from there. So, uh, yeah. That was uh, Ice and Death Part 3. I did better than I was expecting. Uh, we got 5 experience because these are a victory zero, so uh, we don't get anything from them. Uh, but it is still good to get uh, 5 experience. Now we have 6, so uh, with 6 experience I can do some uh, upgrades to the deck for the next scenario. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.